Sports Barn Sunday. Sunday, 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 June 14th. And I wanted to give you an episode here because I think there are a couple of important items you need to know about. Um, let's go to sports first, and then we'll get to Rayshard Brooks, a name you're going to become very familiar with here in the coming weeks. Um, MLB has, I guess, uh, come to an impasse. Uh, the Players Association has uh, just uh, cut off negotiations, if you will. Uh, the latest uh, owner's proposal, the players have rejected, and they've simply said, well, I think the quote was, um, let us know when and where we're playing. And that was it. So the ball is now firmly in the owner's court. Uh, the players will play for no less than uh, their full salary for whatever games they're uh, going to play. Um, so the owners are either going to pay them for the games they play or they're not. Um, you know, they're not going to play. So, uh, you know, I, I would say the uh, uh, conventional wisdom is we're getting a illegitimate 48 to 50 game season, uh, which will, you know, I, I, I think I probably won't even bother following it or betting it or counting it. Um, despite the fact that I've wasted, I don't know how many hours doing these preview videos. Um, there was a guy I read, uh, Jim Bowden, um, I guess he's a media man, covers baseball, former general manager, so I guess he's somewhat familiar with the owner's thinking. He believes the owners are going to back down and go, oh, all right, we'll just pay you goddamn bastards and we'll have a 72 to 80 game season. Hey, I'd be all for that. Uh, I would rescind a lot of what I said about the owners if they go ahead and do that. You know, I think that would be great for the game. I think that would be, uh, you know, I think that's the right thing to do. Whatever financial losses you guys are enduring, it's not going to be that great. You know, what the difference between 80 games and 50 games, you're telling me you can't bite the bullet and put on a legitimate season for an extra 30 games? Come on. I mean, that's, that's laughable, but as I said, I, I have a low opinion of the owners, so I'm sure they'll do the wrong thing. Uh, but, you know, we're holding out hope. We'll probably know in the next day or two. Let's put it this way. If they're going to put on 72 to 80 game season, you'll know right away. You know, they'll come out pretty quick and say, all right. Now, if they're not, you just won't hear anything, and, uh, you know, then... Within a week or two, they'll come out with their 50-game schedule, what have you. So there's that's where MLB is. So, you know, they come out with a 50-game season. We're probably just going to ignore it and move, uh, morph into the NBA. You know, they, they said they're playing. You know, they, they seemed to all be on the same page. July 30th, the players want to play. Except now I'm getting this undercurrent of now maybe they all don't want to play. That uh, there's definitely some players that are saying, let's not play. And if you can believe this, it's not over money. It's over the racial protesting slash rioting. That some of the players believe that playing will take away from the message that's being projected from the protesting. Yeah, uh, so I'm like, oh, okay, I think you're wrong, but, um, you know, I'm just going to sit here and watch and hope that you play, um, so we'll see. So, hey, whoop, drop my pointer. Oh, got mold. Let's get into where that leads us. Rayshard Brooks, a name you may or may not have heard of, but you're going to have heard of it soon. Let's talk about this. Garrett Roth worked for the Atlanta Police Department. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. Rayshard Brooks is dead. You see where I'm going with this. Rayshard Brooks fell asleep 
in the drive-thru in his car at a Wendy's in Atlanta Friday night around, oh, I'm going to say 10.30 at night. So Wendy's calls the cops. They call 911 and say, we got a guy blocking the drive-thru. People are like driving around and uh, we kind of like him out of here because, you know, it's not good for business. So the police show up. First, it's a dr Officer Brosnan who shows up first. Wakes this guy up and says, hey, you're blocking the drive-thru. Why don't you park the car over there? So he does that. Brooks does that. Moves his car over, out of the way, into a parking spot. Garrett Rolfe, part of the DUI task force, comes in a separate vehicle, secondly, and now they go through the DUI drill with this guy. And it takes, I'm going to say, a good 20 to 30 minutes to go through this DUI drill. Um, I have watched the body camera of Wolf, or Rolf, not Wolf, Rolf. Um, I've seen a security video from the Wendy's uh, that was on the building, I believe, looking out to the parking lot. Uh, so that's the video I've seen. The video, the body camera video is over an hour. Um, the, 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 uh, actually, the... Security video is probably a good half hour. Uh, um, there's sound on the body camera video. So, the body camera video gives you a good idea of the DUI drill that he's going through. And Brooks is probably intoxicated. Uh, as we go through, uh, he can't answer questions. He, you know, you ask him uh, what color is uh, the sky Thursday. You know, that's kind of what you're getting out of the guy. He can't answer straight questions. Um, he doesn't know where he is exactly. Uh, he, he keeps insisting he's on Dixie Highway. He's not. He's, uh, you know, five, ten miles from there, I think. Um, finally, this guy gives him the little breathalyzer thing. I'm not 100% sure I like the way he described it to him. You know, he said, well, it's just a machine to deter tell you uh, the, the presence of alcohol. Well, it does more than that. It tells you how much. Gives you a figure. You know, uh, you know, don't, don't be cute with the guy. Tell him. You know, you're blowing the tube. I mean, uh, it's going to tell me what your BAC is. So, on the body cam video, it gives you a real good shot of the BAC, which is 0.108, that's what showed up on his little machine. Um, 0.08 is drunk driving. So, eh, you know, it, 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 he's on the DUI task force. He's definitely taking this guy in. Um, so, after all the officer-friendly questions and 20, 30 minutes of dialogue, he goes to hook and book this guy and say, well, you're under arrest. He freaks out and fights the arrest. Now, I don't know if he threw any punches, but he definitely would not allow them to put the cuffs on him. I mean, he was struggling and wriggling, and so out comes the taser, one of them, I think uh, Brosnan pulls the taser on him. He grabs the taser. Now that he's got his hands on the taser, they're trying to get the cuffs on him. They can't do it. Somehow, this guy, this is not a huge guy <laughs> at all. <laughs> I would say he goes about 5'9", 180. <laughs> so he struggles loose. It's not funny, but I'm sorry. Uh, he struggles loose. And... Gets gone. Down the parking lot at the Wendy's. Now he's booking. He's got the taser with him. He's chasing him. Brosnan's over back behind him on the ground. Uh, uh, still wondering what the hell happened. He's running after him. He's got Brosnan's taser. He's chasing him with, with his taser. So he's got his taser in his left hand. And he's trying to shoot in with his taser. Brooks whips around with it. I'd say it was a good maybe, oh, I don't know. I'm going to say 10 to 15 feet between the two. And Brooks is 
you know, pulling away. So as he is, you know, trying to tase him with his left hand, Brooks whips around and tries to tase him as he's running away. Then with his right hand, Rolf unhooks the gun. Bang, bang, bang. That's it. Oof, drops the guy. Um, I think they he hit him at least twice. Uh, from what I could discern on the rest of the body cam video. Once in the back, once in the ass, and uh, who knows if he hit him with the third shot. So, he dies. They ship him to the hospital, he dies. So, there we have that. Now, you know, of course, Brooks is black, Rolf is white, Brosnan was white. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, there's a lot to unpack with this. I mean, you know, it, 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 Rolf has now been fired. This happened on Friday night. Saturday night, everybody got together at the site of the Wendy's and burned it down. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. You know, that's uh, 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 rioting. That's rioting. That's not protesting. That's rioting. Um, illegal. You're not going to get me on board with that. All you're going to do is piss people off and divide people when you burn shit down. Just saying. So, is this a justified shooting? He was fired. He hasn't been charged with a crime yet. To me, he should have been fired, and I'm down with him getting charged. Uh, the way I see it is, the guy's running away. I mean, he's running away. You cannot now say, I feared for my life. He has already patted this guy down as part of his DUI traffic stop. He knows he's unarmed. He's already going through that drill. He knows he doesn't have a weapon. Um, now they're going to say the taser's a weapon. I, I, I guess. I, uh, the taser is a non-lethal weapon. Uh, the police know that very well. So, uh, does he have a weapon? I mean... You have a gun. That's a lethal weapon. So, does that give you the right to drop this guy as he's running away? I mean, both parties are clearly at fault. Uh, this guy, I mean, at any point in time, could have just done what they told him and he'd be alive. Uh, but does that give this guy, Roth, the right to drop him? It, it, you know, uh, for me, it's kind of like, you know, take the L. You lost. You fucked it up. You screwed up the arrest. The guy got away. You got his car. You got his license. You're going to get... He's going to turn up again. Uh, then you just arrest him. You've got him for... Well, we won't get the DOI arrest done because we can't prove blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, you got him for resisting arrest. You got him dead rights on that. Uh, I'm sure you'll think of something to charge the guy with, but, you know, that's not the way they're trained. Uh, and so, you know, again, where I stand on it is, did the guy get shot in the back because he was black? <coughs> no! He got shot in the back because he was running away, because he resisted arrest. They would have dropped the white guy, I say. As long as it, 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 if the same thing had happened. It, 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 but that's me, you know. I'm a racist, I guess. That's what we're going to say. It, it, I say he got shot in the back because it, he was running away and the cops are trained that, by God, contempt the cop, I get to shoot you. I don't agree with it. I agree with him being fired. I believe he should be charged with a crime. But... You know, if you're going to try to get me to go there and say Mr. Rolf shot this guy because he's a racist, well, you're going to have to produce some evidence to that effect. Um, I did, did not detect any racism in the 30-minute video I watched of him going through the DUI drill. You know, it's all pretty, the DUI drill is pretty much like listening, if you've heard it enough times, it's like, Listening to a, a, a stewardess on an airplane, you know, up the, you know, the exits over here, forward here, you know, if the uh, there should be a loss of cabin pressure, a mask will drop down. If you have a small child with you, make sure you put your mask on first before you put it on your child. It's all the same drill, 
The same with the DUI thing. That dude's given that spiel a thousand times. So I can detect no racism like, ooh, I want to get this guy. So, you know, like I said, if they, it, 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 and they raid this guy's house and he's got KKK stuff all over the place, then absolutely, let's charge him with a hate crime. Let's put him to the, put the screws to him. But I say this is just police brutality, nothing more. Can we, can we just discuss that? You know, that, that's where I'm at with this. Um, so what I expect is this is going to be bad because this is the kind of shooting where there's another side to it. You know, and I think reasonable people can disagree here. You know, are we just going to allow people to just resist arrest at will? I mean, we have to give the police some tools, don't we? You know, I know they're going to be officers to say, well, that's outrageous. You're just going to let people, I lose my taser and you're just going to let me, let them tase me and I can't do anything about it? You know, I know, you know, there's a flip side argument to this. And I think that, you know, we're tempers, we're the temperature lower, you know, maybe we could all discuss this reasonably, but I expect there's, there's going to be, you know, a big pushback. You know, when people are screaming, burn this guy at the cross, poor Richard Brooks, you know, there's a there's an argument there for Roth. So, you know, it, it, this isn't as cut and dried as the Chauvin uh, Floyd matter. So, I expect this to be a mess. I expect there to be big riots this week. Um, you know, again, protests are fine. Um... It's not a protest when you're standing there with your sign that says whatever on it, and the guy next to you is throwing a Molotov cocktail. At that point, you, with your sign, you're, you're not a protester. You are a rioter. You're, that guy's standing there blowing shit up, and you're there, hey, uh, good shot, buddy. You know, that's, uh, you're not a protester at that point. So, there's how I see that. I figured I needed to comment on that. It's going to be a matter front and center, I think, in the news here in the next few days. So, uh, here at Big E, like, like I said, we, we used to talk about sports, but well, the government's taken that away from us. So, we, all we have left to prognosticate on is the real news, which I just assume not because it divides everybody. Um, like I said, I think this is an episode here where we can kind of get together and say, okay, do we want this sort of thing to happen? I mean, can we agree that there were things that could have been done better on both sides? And maybe we can uh, determine whether we want this kind of police action uh, to go on. Is it okay that a guy resists arrest and we shoot him while he's running away? You know, if that's the way the majority feels, then, you know, it's a democracy. And it's like, okay, well, well, if that's it, then, you know, contempt the cop gives them the right to shoot me in the back. And I'm in the minority. I guess I better obey these guys. So, you know, but maybe that's not the majority thinking. So, I don't know. You know, me, it's a crime. You know, take the L. You weren't in any danger. You weren't in any danger. You screwed up. He's running away. Where's he going? You know, he doesn't have a gun. Uh, you got his car. I don't know. That's how I see it. Uh, uh, I apologize if that upsets my opinion, upsets you. Um, I have a right to my opinion. You have a right to yours. If it varies, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, you know. I'll, I'll read anything that's in the comments. Um, I, I, be, as, uh, be as up or down as you want to be. I don't care. Um, but, so that's that. So, back to sports. I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to hold off on these MLB videos anymore of them until um, I hear from Rob Manfred. How many games are we playing? Is it legitimate? Is it illegitimate? It's legitimate. We'll finish up the baseball previews. Illegitimate. 
Well, let's talk about either the Akron Zips, I think that's the first uh, college football team by alphabet, or uh, the uh, uh, NBA. You know, we'll get into that maybe. You know, I'll, I'll re educate myself about the NBA and we'll be ready to do that. Ah, so we have that. That's just a controversial topic. We'll get that, throw that out here on a sunny Sunday morning, get everybody thinking, get everybody all geared up to argue and be angry at each other. Uh, I wish we'd seen Kumbaya on this one, but I don't think we're going to. So, there you have it, and we will talk again. Eric Arnold out.